All right, here we go with the Vince McMahon's decision on who's going to run Monday Night Raw. Uh, I'm going to put the remote. Hang on. There we go. I love that the crowd sings along to them now. I wonder if they're going to chant CM Punk. They probably are. For Vince, definitely. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll bring back Eric Bischoff. Wouldn't that be interesting? I doubt it. It's probably going to be Shane or Stephanie. Maybe Triple H. Alright, let's see. <laughs> it's funny seeing a 70 year old man just like, come on! Ah, here we go. <laughs> He's, he's encouraging you. It's like, come on, come on. Monday Night Raw is the longest weekly episodic television show in history. Matter of fact, it means some 1,196 editions and counting. That's but crazy that's still counting, ain't it? Raw has been so successful is because it's been able to morph, been able to change through the, through the times. It's reinvented itself over and over again. Seriously? Again? <laughs> yeah, seriously, for real. I mean, I love CM Punk, but Jesus, guys, it's been two years. <laughs> this is encouraging it. Come on, you got more than that. Come on. It's got to waste time. I mean, Enzo and Cass and the Bob Villains kind of. I heard Enzo's doing okay. He's injured, but he's okay. Raw's been able to work through the years. One of the reasons why I have, we reinvent Raw all the time. They do? Oh, yeah, they do. Raw, well, certain For better or worse. Errors, certain iterations and errors that have occurred. Matter of fact, one of my favorite errors of Monday Night Raw would be the Attitude Era. I bet he's just saying that for the crowd. He doesn't like the Attitude Era. But now we have, have a new era. Someone who has a great personal set of ethics. It's going to be Stephanie. Someone who has great business acumen. <laughs> someone, um, someone who has a vision as to where we should be going. This person indeed needs to be not just a great business person, but a great person of personal ethics. So we're at a, a decision here. Who should be running Monday Night Raw? Should it be my son Shane? Or should it be my daughter Stephanie? I don't always appreciate your point of view, by the way. No, he doesn't. No, no he doesn't. Welcome without further ado. My daughter Stephanie. I called that from like a mile away. There she is. Both Stephanie and Vince are trying to rewind the clock because they're both getting older. Stephanie's trying to dress or do stuff that she used to do younger. I don't know. Am I the only one that sees that? I think I am. But how do I know? You also heard the rumor that Vince doesn't want to call WrestleMania by its numbers anymore. Isn't that weird? Isn't she beautiful? Uh, younger wise she was, like ten years ago maybe. I would love that they chanted AJ Lee.
He's, he's going to blow out a lung if he keeps shouting like that. He's like he's 70 years old. God, man. <laughs> you animals. You're fired. She's used to it. It's also the one of the crappier WrestleManias. That's not gonna help. I think, did they know that? That he gets booed? Nah, I can't wait for that main event. That should be interesting. Under the authority's leadership was the launch of the WWE Network. Taken from a germ of an idea into 1.8 million subscribers. A network for all of you to give you the value that you demanded and that you so richly deserve. Now you may not I'll give her that. I mean, watching on the network. Can't hear too much booing. Are they still on that? It's been like three years. Was it seven years? Yeah, it was seven years. Dang. That was Vince's fault. Because he crowned himself CEO. And I thought that was supposed to go to Shane, right? Yeah, isn't that weird? Okay, when's Shane going to come out? Why do I feel like Vince is going to be like, that's why he's the new GM. <laughs> that's probably a really bad Vince impression. Like, I care. Are they changing boring? Here comes the money. I wish they'd bring that pay-per-view back, Backlash. It was better than, that was a better pay-per-view. A lot better memories, too.
You know, Shane's been really good at his promos, but he's been messing up a couple times. And I wonder if he's going to bring up, like, CM Punk or ratings or something like that. That'd be interesting. Shut up, Stephanie. What's up, Chicago? Pandering to the audience, but I like it. Well, normally I wouldn't come out here and uh, I don't really like to talk about myself. But since that's what we're doing here, trying to vibe for who controls Monday Night Raw, uh, that's what I need to do. So, therefore, Stephanie, let me ask you a question. Uh, how many headlines have you and your husband received over the years about what a very good job you guys are doing running Monday Night Raw? Allow me just to point out a few recent ones. So if I can draw your attention up here, let's see. Fox Sports. NXT stars and Shane McMahon have completely revitalized WWE Raw. <laughs> I read that. Oh, SN Sporting News. What we learned on WWE Raw, wrestling is once again cool. It's true. It's a lot more watchable. Five signs of Monday Night Raw is changing for the better. <laughs> I hope that's true. <laughs> Don't forget this one. Jay McMahon is the right choice to become WWE's new on-screen boss. That's breaking kayfabe, saying on-screen. Shane McMahon running WWE Raw is best for business. And finally, from Rolling Stone, WWE Raw, Shane McMahon soars. It's impressive, seeing how old he is. That's pretty impressive. Now you talked about the WWE Network, and let's give credit where credit is due. Uh, that is the brainchild of one man, and that is you. So much respect deserved. But the 1.8 million subscribers that you're talking about, well, you got about 18,000 of them here tonight. I doubt only 10,000 of them have the network. Take credit for the 1.8 million. The only people that can take credit for that is the actual 1.8 million subscribers that belong to the WWE network. There was, there was, dare I say, a jump around WrestleMania 32, however, and. WrestleMania 32 was an amazing event, AT&T Stadium, like you said. But there perhaps was one match in particular that everyone was extra interested in. And perhaps one individual... A lot of those the network, uh, not the network, NXT. Your humility is inspiring, Shane. But also, to answer your question, okay? Let's get into something. So you talked about my departure. He still, he does. It's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I do. Thank you. What a bitch. <laughs> Great heel, but bitch move. talk about my departure seven years ago. You don't know a lot of things about that, but I will tell you one thing that I haven't said yet. Uh, basically, my voice was a being heard. I had a different direction that I thought the company should go into, and that resulted in irreconcilable differences between the chairman and myself. That's what happened there. But that left an enormous void, a void that you and your husband filled and instead of catapulting the company where everyone wanted to go and huge success and fresh matchups and new talent and making it hot, what you guys did is you just put you just put your own poison all the way through that. It was such a big ego play for you guys that literally your venomous view went from the corporate tower to the locker room to every arena in the WWE period. Yeah. And you nearly burned the thing all the way down to the ground. That is very so true. So I came back to ensure once again the future. Not only for my kids, but for your daughters, 
for all of them and eventually their kids and their kids kids etc etc that's why i returned to the wwe is that really why you came back or was it because of the payday so dad I ask, I ask that you listen to me. And you don't actually have to listen to my voice, because I'll say this, they all speak for me. <laughs> I have my voice onto that. Like here in Chicago right now. They're like, they're like who that? That's street dog. <laughs> right, no, that crap. So it's gotta be a buzzkill. Well, I, if, if I may, just because I'm having so much fun with this, and this may be my last night, those that would not want to see Stephanie McMahon run wrong. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it's a mid forties, and he's in his mid forties. He's acting like a twelve year old. <laughs> They're still booing. I've always liked Shane. Shane was always my favorite. Popularity. There we go. Stevie makes a lot of good points, Shane. Come on, you lost the match to the Undertaker. You shouldn't even be standing in the ring right now. The only reason you are is because the night after all, you were pretty classy. You went out and you said goodbye. You sort of upstaged me. I said. Try running Broncos, you're gonna fall flat on your face. And you didn't. I decided, all right, let's try another week. And you were okay at that one, and maybe even some would say better than okay. But you want me good. to listen to you. You want me to listen to the media. You want me to listen to all of these people. For once, please. And that's why your company is in the shape that it's in, you old man. This is not about you, not about Stelly, not about them. Tonight, tonight is about me. It's about what I want, not what you really want. It's about what I want. And here's what I want. Figuratively speaking, I want blood. I want blood. I want to see you both slit each other's throat. I want to see you both disembowel each other. What? That's what I want to see. Brand split? Or there could be a collaborative effort of some kind that might be the best for all. Might even be best for the family. I don't know. All I know is this is going to be entertaining because... You both have equal say, and you both are running Monday Night Raw. Go figure it out. Oh my God. This Stephanie and Shane can't stand each other. Uh, how's this going to work? Stephanie and Shane, they've got along for years, guys, and now Mr. McMahon has put them in charge of the highest rated cable television show on Monday Night. Highest rated? It's not highest rated, it's the most ep weekly episodic television show. Highest rated? No. Not since like 1999. That's why I said that. Shake hands. He extended the hand. Is she gonna slap him? Oh. 
I think this is going to culminate in a match at SummerSlam against Triple H and Shane. Maybe Survivor Series or something like that. Oh, kick? Is going to kick? No. I thought it was going to kick. Alright, cool. Alright, that's, that's interesting how that's going. Alright, see you guys for the main event. Sayonara.